Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Invite Only. Uh, I know it's been some time. I think about a week. I think I missed one show, maybe two shows. Look, life's been hard for me lately, and I'm back, about to get it back on track. Here we are, another beautiful Monday, because we switched over to Mondays, uh, which you can catch the show live every Monday. I got low energy. There's the energy. Catch the show live every Monday at 7.30. Well, normally at 7.30 p.m., uh, Pacific Standard Time over on twitch.tv for us. That's P Productions. But if you missed the live show today, you can watch it tomorrow. Where out on dress? YouTube.com forward slash play everything. Okay, last week he said something dumb. I so know, and I practiced. YouTube.com slash invite, invite only. only. <laughs> yeah, so forward but slash or oh, YouTube.com forward slash play everything. You can watch the, the, the show live, or not live, but you can watch the, the actual show uh, on Tuesday if you missed the live one. Um, how you, How's everyone doing? How you guys doing? I, it's been another weird, hellish week in the Bay Area. As you know, we're smoky. It's COVID and it's all I over the place. I didn't announce who you were. To the left of me, I have Compa Andres. I don't know. I mean, they don't know what it is. <laughs> I know he's back. And to the I right, I got it. Cheeks underscore Junior. What's up, players? What's up, man? Um, and then back on the producer table, I got the Adrian. Hey, what's up? Adrian. It's so anticlimactic. I, like, I, wish, it? I wish he just let it? me say his nickname. Like, I like get? the name, nope. but like... He has something that gets a name. Can you give us another name? What's I can his give nickname? You? El Guapo? Um, I can't say it on, on camera anymore, he says. Uh, El Guapo. Uh, I don't really have any other nicknames. Come on. We're going to give you one. The nickname I gave you, one. you decided to turn down, and now you don't want to give me something. <laughs> I can't some... turn down a nickname. A nickname sticks. You yeah, can't choose dog. a nickname. And I was just looking at you like Adrian. Well, I mean, a lot of people call me by my Twitter name, which is just A. Per- nobody wants this. A- a- nobody, whatever is going on right now, I'm nobody wants to go into the room and be like, Foz, and be like, A. First of all, you just started to follow that. me, and you want me to start calling you by your Twitter handle, and you just started to follow <laughs> the me. son of a bitch. That, I, you don't get that right. I just started you using just, Twitter again. But you uh, think I'm just going to automatically just start respecting your handle nowadays? <laughs> you just automatically. Well, you know what? At least I didn't steal mine. So there's Oh, that. my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where did that come from? God. Jesus Whoa. Christ. Murdered in oh, the street. Over here. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what you guys been up to? Um, Working, grinding, trying to breathe, trying to live. Um, oh, yeah. Hellish week. Hellish You want to continue with that? Yeah. Weird week. I mean, if you're in the Bay or if you're in the West Coast in general, you know that everything's surrounded by smoke. It's lit. I don't want to catch any of this smoke. I don't want to be it's that guy. Lit. Um, but yeah, it's super weird. On top of that, we got COVID and everything else. So stay your ass at home, wear masks. Then that's all I got to ask for. Oh, yeah, a little COVID scare. had me nervous. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, but your boy's negativo. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? So we good. We Gucci. Okay. What about you, Jigs? Uh, I mean... No, you had a rough week. Yeah, I mean, first of all, the smoke <laughs> thing doesn't bother me. I've been training, you know, my whole life for that. Been for smoking what? packs of cigarettes since oh, I was a baby. Nothing. You know what I mean? You, so live, you, just, you lived up in the mountains. Isn't it, like, hard to breathe out there anyway? Like, no. the yeah, but like, I also grew up around fires and stuff. But most importantly, it's California. the smoking. Smoke, smoke a pack a day, you know what I mean? This is oh, Keeps him. the doctor away. That's what they say. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he hasn't been buying cigarettes. He just goes outside. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm a smoke. What do you mean? Just go out there and breathe the air. I double smoke. I smoke while I'm outside. Smoke cigarettes for lunch. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's dude. Honest. So we were supposed to have a town hall. I don't know if you follow me on Twitter at Cheeks Junior. Yeah. Uh, underscore Junior. Um, yeah, we were supposed to have a, it, bitch. Yeah, we had we had a town hall scheduled for this Sunday, uh, which we had to reschedule because Raiders were playing. It's been a rough 2020. Everybody, I think everybody at this table can kind of. I, I think every single one of us has had like a shit 2020. Every single, even Adrian, yeah. everyone's had a shit you know, 2020. You know, despite the last maybe two months, like 2020 has been blessing me. I'm take not take the wins. You, you got to really look at the wins. Put it that way. The, each yeah. win makes you appreciate life just that much more. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Um, but no, 100%. You, we, we're looking at the downs a little bit too much. We got to look at the goods. Look at the wins. So appreciate the wins. Look who you're around. Enjoy those moments. Enjoy the family. Not a little two cents in there. Real quick. Like we, yeah, we've all act, it's we've all been going through it. So that's what's funny is we're all kind of like on the same page here. Like Compo almost died. Yeah, uh, that was that kind you know, of. You two are show. going through your own things. Uh, Definitely. I like. Yeah, I I lost my not not to, this is not going to bring it down or at all. But like I lost my dad, my mom, um, uh, cancer surgery, uh, major cancer, and then what I'm going through right now on this weekend. It Ooh. has been. 
a like seriously, honestly, 2020 has been I know this a real you. nut shot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. You just won't let me help you. you. Like, just open up to me because I know it's been hard this we, week. We're open. We'll all open up at it for you. Okay? I'm here for I'm it. It is real hard this weekend. Just, I'll show you what. That's what she said. You got it. Um, <laughs> Not just every week. Not just this week. Um, but no. So it is. It's been tough, but I've jumped into Avengers. So everything's Ooh, looking up God. from here, praise you know God. what I mean? Praise God. Who needs a dad who's alive? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> when you got, got Captain Avengers. America. You got Tony Stark. Man. <laughs> They're in there. I haven't even played that game. You need to get it. I'm still, I'm barely you on Ghost of Tsushima. I'm over here, emergency meeting, playing Among Us. Fucking fun game. I just blame everybody. Have you guys played Among Us yet? No, I'm actually going to play it today. Uh, Tombo has been trying to make this happen, and I think we all really need to make this happen. I'm going to play it today. I'm actually going to actually buy it. I actually have my, the Steam page already loaded up with the asking me for my card information. I'm gonna play it today, man. Yeah, but I have been playing uh, Avengers as well. Um, that's my new game. You know, I made a little rally call online. If you follow me over on Twitter at that kid flowers, uh, I need some. I need some shooters. All right, I need some people to play with. I need a team. I need my Avengers squad to be assembled, and I need to have it ready now. Yeah, no, uh, and I'm a little offended because you didn't answer my uh, call to come join you. You kind of got, like, the cold shoulder, you know? Well, look, I mean, I haven't been playing the last, like, week, so, I mean, like, to my defense, I just I've haven't seen been playing, you in there. but, like, I mean, I've touched it, but not, like, played it, played it, you know, like, sat down. Like, I remember when you told me you sat down and you played for a couple hours. Like, yeah, last night I was, you gotta play Avengers. I jumped into it, I was up till three, I was playing the story just Jesus. because, first of all, God, that's... It's fun. Is it co-op? Uh, so they, that, that's ev- yeah, everything yeah. Co- on certain points. Every, so certain every rumor, I mean, every cool. reviewer and everybody that's played the game, they say the story is cool, gameplay is cool, but as soon as you hit the end game, yeah, it's just kind of like, all right, all downhill. H- here's the thing I have to say about that. What's up? Um, remember Destiny and Destiny Two? Yeah, when it, it was, was, the, it was kind of the boy, and yeah. actually made you was, come back and play it. Wasn't a good story, and well, it didn't have what great do you mean? end game There's stuff. So much lore in that game. Shut up. Nobody cares about Destiny Star. But uh, no, it wasn't great anything, really, um, other than like the mechanics and the like, yeah. the, the, the feel of yeah. the game. Um, and they're able to save it with like the uh, now Multiplayer. Crystal Dynamics is going to be di- like cranking out a bunch of that end game content where it's like raids. And what, yeah, I, what, what really fun. gets me excited about Avengers is the prospect of it is Destiny with superheroes. You know, everyone's been comparing it to Destiny. Like, it feels like Destiny, Destiny's PVE. It doesn't feel like Destiny. It doesn't remind me of Destiny at all. It really reminds me of, uh, like, a, a true hack and slash, like, bunch of enemies coming at you. I need to figure out, like, the best way I can take down as many people as quick as possible based off the character I have. Like, it's really, like, almost like a strategy game, damn near, um, coming into, like, how you play the game and, like, how you have to, like, use. Because you can't use, like, Iron Man, like, you use Thor, right? So it's, like, you really have to, like, come at, like, Fights differently, the little mini bosses differently, and mm-hmm. like I, I really get stuck into like the gameplay. Like, I haven't been fucking looking at the fucking story. I've been low key skipping the story screens. I'm not gonna lie to you because like I'm just trying to get to the smoke. Like, where's the smoke? You're like, an I'm insane person. Iron Man. What did I just hear? Yeah, here's the Iron Man. here's the beauty about Avengers, <clears throat> Compa. What's up? Um, it's not like it's not diversity in like a skeevy way. Like it really like that main character, the um. Miss Marvel. Yeah. Um, God, it just like, it made me happy playing through it because it's like, this is really cool what they're doing. Like what they're doing with the story is like really awesome. And it's, oh, it's like, different. it's yeah. It's different no, from it's, an MCU, it's different from a cinematic. It actually gives you more detail and more kind of what you'd want out of an actual like comic book game. And yeah. It, I mean, that's exactly what it's a I comic think book game. I this is the make. first Indian lead that we've had in like a video game. Yeah. And like, it, it's just really cool to see like it. And, um, uh, what they're doing with the story is great. The gameplay is fantastic. Um, I'm really digging Thor's gameplay, and then Captain America is like those. I think those are like my two like Captain ma- America's a hitter. You mains. can't go wrong with him. He's and one of my mains. Again, I can't wait what to get. What does Ant Man do through the story? We'll uh, find he's out. Not out yet. He's not out yet. Do we find out what the Witcher lady does? I'm sure he's gonna you know get small and get big, but like no, they no, no, make no, yeah, those little coming. like features really unique and like a really big part of like characters. Like I really like. I'm excited for like Ant Man and like Spider Man and, and like what's the whole cr- crazy is they feel all they all feel super different. Who and are that's you, what I was you worried about. about Mikey, who, who are you looking forward to play? Uh, Spider Man for sure. Um, I'm excited to see like a Doctor Strange in there. I mm. can't wait that's for gonna, Doctor Strange. Like, I know freezing shit. Do you like, get to oh. play as villains? <laughs> Uh-huh. I don't know. Do you get to play as villains? Or is uh, I'm sure eventually. Just because all superheroes. He, that, that's what excites me about this game is after the story, which is already so far a really great story from what I'm playing. Um, 
I cannot wait for the character drops and then you'll get like a little story like that you can play with the character drops. Yeah. And then you can bring that into the aftermath where it's like, hey, Sean, uh, Andreas and Adrian, let's go do a raid. Right. Or like it's, you know, one hour raid. We all like set time aside yeah. and we all go play and we're all our own different favorite characters. Right. And we go and we do that objective and it's really, really hard and it's really fun. Like Destiny where you're trying to get through a raid and you have to retry and retry and retry. Um, uh, that's what excites me about it. And the, the things that they can add to that yeah. end game uh, really a, makes it special. They have oh, a whole bunch of Let me quickly uh, just correct you. Monkey King says that uh, Miss Marvel is Pakistani and not Indian. So Get your shit together, uh, bro. Uh, My apologies. Culture that's fact, insen- yeah, fucking that's God damn it. Relax. I do apologize. Stop trying to assume come on, come on, what content, you see. You know what I'm going through right now. You can't mention that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, someone already pointed it out. Um... <laughs> No, but I mean, to that point, you're absolutely right. My my apologies. The opportunity for of that game to have so much extra content is a lot. Like, if there's no villains, they could easily make more villain a different like DLC. Hey, the main villain, the main villain is gonna be what just happened, Thanos. Okay, cool. Let's he's gonna be the main villain. Let's get his side characters. Let's get the four horsemen. All that stuff. Like, they're gonna do all that. Yeah. Like that could be so much room for DLC content. Avengers two, three. Like, they could for sure make this. Yeah. Like a lot more. I mean, outside of just what like Marvel, like the actual Marvel, like Phase One, Phase Two is doing. Like, I yeah. really feel like this game is gonna be like one of those games you can actually get and learn about like the superhero like world. Like, cause like I don't know who Miss Marvel was, and like yeah, I know who like the Avengers is as far as like Iron Man, Black Widow go. But like the the villains that they're introducing to you, like Taskmaster. Uh, I yeah. forgot the little like the short small dude on the chair. Like you're supposed Hold to see my Black Widow, but okay. Oh, who? Murdoch? Modoc. Modoc. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a bunch of just villains that they're introducing and making them play out with these characters. You get to see, like, okay, this is a Black Widow villain. This is a No, no, it's Thor really villain. cool. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's this day and age is comic books. Yeah. Like, back then, comic books were five cents, go to a store, boom. That's how you learn a lot about people's villains and arcs and different side characters, these B villains, level B villains, whatever they call them. And uh, nowadays, like, nobody has that. We, like, we don't go to a comic book shop and be like, oh, this is the new Avengers number two. Uh, nobody number two. nobody <laughs> fucking does this shit. No, nobody does that. But these like- games, like, allow that. Allow people to, like, a younger generation who don't go to comics and don't do that to learn more about that lore and rich history that comic books offer. Very cool. The first boss when you get to Abomination. Like, what? Uh, this is the first boss. Uh, oh, cool. Spoilers. Really spoilers. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a spoiler yeah, yeah. fucking cool. podcast you know now. Cool. Dude, this is Avengers. This I didn't is not know like Abominations in it. You, 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 you're cool. the yeah, first so boss fight, so boss fight so is Hulk versus Abomination. So let me guess. The first character you play as is Bruce Banner and Hulk. Yeah. Not the first character. But well, yes, the it. first boss fight. Don't, don't, don't let them spill anymore. No, what else do you speak. want to spoil? How no, does it end, there's dude? There's no story what stuff else? there. There's no... I just spoil the, the how the story goes. ongoing. That's the thing about this game. Like, there's going to be more story to it. game already? Huh? You beat the game already? I haven't beat the game, no. Uh, okay, it's okay, a okay. dense game from what I hear. No, I'm, I'm like, I think 40% in. To to be, off what the game's telling me. No, oh, wow. So you're almost done then, right? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Well, he's going to get dust off He's, he's going to get to 60 and stop. I mean, I'm just playing the game. You know, I really enjoy it. So, I mean, so, I can play with p- other people. So, like, that's probably a bigger hope for me to actually finish. This will be, like, the first game you beat in 2020? No, I beat Ghost of Tsushima, punk bitch. Damn. Whoa. Which, whoa. Again, ladies and gentlemen, hold breaking on. news. The facts, the facts aren't out on that. Uh, when I was producing the show, I was trying to look up his trophy history. They don't have a completion trophy. Oh, so I cannot confirm oh. nor deny that the, the so technically that it's you've beaten no game. This also, year. I b- do believe Clutch was playing on his account. So if it's beaten, it was wow. beaten by Clutch because Clutch Sean oh, wow. was playing on my account. Oh wow! Damn. You really okay, yeah. but I still beat it. I mean, somebody beat it. Yeah, somebody beat it for sure. Whatever. I, I beat the game. I finished the game. I see how it ended. So all right, I'm all right. I can't wait to beat it, so then I can actually let you know how it goes. Hey, you, you, you should get in there, because it's <laughs> definitely see. worth the playthrough. I mean, that's the, you're on pace for two games a year. I, I also, before we move on, I yep. also jumped into Tony Hawk as well. Ooh. That's a I great like Nightcap man. game. I would be playing that Nightcap. Like, I'm tired of playing Warzone or Ghost. I'm just like... Tony Hawk Yeah. The Pro dude. Skater? Yeah, dude, it's, 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 I mean, it's uh, nostalgic, and then it's just super easy to just pick up, play, do a little combos. I know, spent combos. three hours in the tutorial. Why? Just tried to like get Sucks. stuff down Jesus and like Christ. learn things and try to get good at because I wanted to get good before I actually jumped in. Like, There's the game. nothing. I mean, you I'm get good you at playing the up, game. Though. Don't get tutorials in three hours. I was having you. fun the whole time. So I don't know about you, but that, I value that. I was having a good time. So my question is now that you, I guess you have both, right? I think the big problem I would have is like 
choosing which one to play? Like, what do you think you're going to play more between Tony Hawk and the Avengers? I mean, Avengers, because it's going to have more legs. Like, Tony Hawk yeah. is what he was saying. It's a good nightcap. It's a good, like, just something to jump in and do. Or try to a couple levels. Tombo is pretty much done with the game. <laughs> Tombo <laughs> finished. Dude, yeah, he's been playing I, a lot. I came in, like, the day after a release or whatever. Because yeah. I, I got it, right? And I was like, dude, I got Tony Hawk. Like, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, yeah, dude, I got it, too. I, like, love it. He's like, I was like... Uh, wait, I bet you barely played it, blah, blah, blah. And then he showed me. And it was like, like literally level, level 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% all the way down. I was like, I forget, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I, I was all dumb when I first got the game for uh, Tony Hawk because I forgot you could upgrade your player. Uh, so I remember I was like three. I was in Tony Hawk's number one, and I was like three levels in. And I was like, dude, some of these challenges, how do I get the score? How do I get this tape? It's hella high. I can't even jump that high. And I looked at my skin. I was like, oh, I have like 10 attributes I haven't even used. Whoops. <laughs> Made my guy a That's the best air, though. Switch. I was hella up. laughing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick before we move on, I want to address this comment that Monkey King said about the Avengers. He said he wants more super villains and less robots. Uh, I think we'll get there. I mean, honestly, I like the robot waves. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it really has me going like, okay, like I got to use these moves. Okay, my little my little L2 meter is low now. Like now I have to use like my other super moves. Like I don't know. I like the 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 amount of smoke that comes at me with each fight. Like I like how many enemies there are. Like Can I feel like if there was less enemies and like I'm fighting like an abomination the whole time or like a taskmaster, I feel like it would take away from like what I can do. Uh, and so if it's very destiny, my bad. Is it, if it's like destiny esque, do you have like supers for each character? Yeah. yeah. Can you combine those two to like do a double team? Can you like you yeah. know how the movies yeah, would see like team moves? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's, yeah. it's really right. cool. Dude. One right. of my favorite things about All that right. game Shit. itself though is how big the skill trees are for the characters. Like you can play as Iron Man, but like yeah. you can play as like ten different ways, like ten different like styles with Iron Man. Like how big his skill tree is. God damn. Yeah, and that's dude, with each character. It's re- and it's cool to see like uh, uh, to think about too, like when this because eventually this game is gonna be like rostered out where there's lots. Everybody it's gonna right. be cool to see the different varieties of like squads attacking different like challenges in a certain way yeah. um, because like some people are gonna stick with like the classics and some people are gonna try like Ant-Man and Spider-Man and this and that and like everybody's every like team yeah. is gonna have their own different like spin on it because there's gonna be so many it's gonna be interesting when like raids start coming up people are like okay like we need like a hulk on the team we need an iron man like okay are you a good iron man we need a tank we need this yeah yeah it's gonna be really i mean if make sure you have this ability to equip that's the strategic part in some raids will be like we no flying characters it doesn't work out you have to equip this ability on this character otherwise that's exactly sounds like destiny sounds like destiny but if there is like a pvp of it if there is like uh heroes versus villains bro sold that I'll I don't sure know if that's. That, is that, we'll I don't know if that's necessary. We'll for, see. for every amount of hero, there's a villain. So well, everyone was they just could easily to play do with that, the big character roster. So I feel that. Like, I think or you could do heroes characters. against heroes, but then yeah, I guess you could go. You could get away with that. Why if are you trying to make them fight each other? Why can't they just be in Bro. unity? That's what's. Pro- that's what's Civil War, the world, one of the best comics of all time. <laughs> no one Boom. wants to be in unity. I just want to put each other against each other. Iron Man versus fucking Captain America. Like just put them on the same team. Iron Man's gonna win. They are. They've always been. I know, but he's trying to make them against each other. Like hero versus hero. Now it's fun. No, that wouldn't be fun. Why yeah. would it not be fun? Did it's you like fun. Civil War? I, I like watching it, not playing it. Wow. Anyways, There's let's get into some news. I you think like wa- news, 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 news. You news, like news, watching news, porn, news. but you don't like doing it. So I just heard. Yeah. Anyway. Sure. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll go with you on that trip. I mean. <laughs> so Ubisoft, uh, they had an announcement. I don't know if it was a Ubisoft forward, like a little stream event they had. I've seen this. I didn't really see when it was announced or how they announced it, but. Uh, they announced the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake. I don't know if you guys played Prince of Persia. No. Prince of Persia back in the day. No? I remember uh, seeing all my cousins play it, but I never was like, let me get on on that. I Honestly, just know you could reverse time, and I was like, that's a cool ass concept. That's yeah. about it. So this is a trailer. You can just put it on, play it in the back. Uh, so I want these guys to look at it as we play. Go ahead, play you, you Sorry, it's loading. No, no, it's playing. Oh. It's loading up. Yeah, okay, I think it's loading. Talking about it's loading up there. Uh, but like this, I don't know which came first, Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed. But like, honestly, you can see a lot of Assassin's Creed in this game. Like as far as like how it works and like what you see and what you can do and yeah. like just the animations and like the the the, the what do they call the free running and like yeah. the fucking like but a lot climbing of, and things like that and the like free swinging. Walls, free... Yeah, like that's all like Assassin's Creed esque with like parkour. The concept of rewinding time. And I mean, this was one of the really good games. I forgot which console. I the played movie this was on. cool. I think it was 360. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal was cool. 
I mean, uh, uh, this game does look really people interesting. People have really fond memories of this game, and I remember the, the, in that this era, this was like one of the, like the all time like great games. Yeah, to get. yeah. Um, I mean, like Flower said, this this game probably inspired a lot of combat and those style yeah. of Assassin's Creed. Like Adrian, this can you was look up for the me idea when, of it when uh, Prince of Persia came out. And look up when uh, I will Assassin's say came you out. all have to thank Crash Bandicoot for all these remakes that we're Here getting. We go. Uh, no, I, mean, I hate to say it. Though, 100%. Kind of right. Because they were the first one. Because Sony did it back in the PS3 days, where they just like did the remastered collections, but like nothing was like changed. It was just kind of little enhanced graphics. Um, Crash Bandicoot was the first one to do from the ground up yeah. rebuilds of the game because they were. And uh, again, that's that, not true. Yeah. Damn. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai uh, had a remake. Okay, but like I games people was, care about. I think a lot of people care about that game. A lot of people care about Dragon Ball. uh, Games uh, that people play. The first one to do it, so sorry. um, Oh, bro. I'm saying make it popular. The the thing is with it is uh, Activision didn't really care about like Crash Bandicoot as an IP. Like they really never really utilized it until yeah. they did that remaster of the trilogy and they saw w- how well it did. Yeah. So then they're like, oh, this is an IP that we've been setting on gold for for a while. And then they did it with Spyro and then you see like they do it with Tony Hawk. And mm-hmm. then now you're seeing all these um, publishers being like, oh, we're sitting on a like a gold mountain right now. So what it we sounds like to- what you're trying to say to me is like Crash Bandicoot pretty much innovated a reason for these developers to kind of make money off these old games. Correct, because I don't think that they were viable. Like, it wasn't like a real viable thing other really than doing like the out. old school Sony one where it's like, oh, we'll like remaster Wait, them, but it's not from the ground did, up. They um, did fucking Shadow of the Colossus and shit. Like, they just remade That came after. Did it Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, I believe yeah, but that so. was in limbo for so fucking long though. I mean, so and then the last, you know, last Guardian actually never was a remake, but it just never came there, out. There are people dipping the toes into it, but I think Crash was such a success and when they, they launched it. For it yeah. Number one for like months and months after a launch on the the sales charts, where mm. it was like, oh, this is like now b- Activision. You think as their pillars like Call of Duty. Go ahead. You got Call it. of Duty. That's <laughs> only pillar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, mainly Call of Duty, but like they had like Skylanders for a while that was really popular, yeah. right? As a pillar. And then all of a sudden you're seeing Crash Bandicoot as a pillar again. Well, I mean, since the remake, I mean, the Crash Bandicoot well, remake, then they got it. They were releasing the new Crash Bandicoot game, which yeah. I think is dope that the remakes th- became a new game. Or and they're, I making, guess a new, a new they're making an entire new Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah, that's, that's what you just said. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, because of those remakes, though, <laughs> that's what they're able to do. <laughs> no, you guys are sort of like, to your point, like, you're absolutely right. It gives people more avenues and g- developers to try more things out. Like, and they're killing yeah, They dude. never really wanted to do that. Because Mike said for a while, nobody was doing remakes. And then guess what? They fucking gambled on it. Like, they Activists were doing remakes, but it was it. like remakes where it wasn't up. like from the ground up. And the fact that we're getting a new Crash Bandicoot game and they are killing it. Like they are crushing it. And I remember the last time there was a new Crash Bandicoot game, I did not have the same feeling. Damn. I wonder what the, hmm. So my question is for the next coming years, like are we going to see like these companies, these publishers is pick and choose like here and there like, oh, let's bring back Prince of Persia. That's weird, yeah. I'm trying to think of like Shrek. Let's bring back Tack and no. Karju. Let's bring out yes, do that. Kazooie. Do yeah. that. Like, that sounds awesome. I, thought I, I want Tack and Karju. Nobody just wants every, that. Just making that every now and then. Like, is that going to be just? If a you're thing? listening, drop whatever game that's not that game. Throw it in the chat. Tack and Karju was the the hotness, <laughs> dude. Cap. That's Sorry. a cap statement. Right no, there. I think I think you're gonna see that more and more common, and I'm all for it because not only does it preserve those games. In like in History, the moment like, yeah. that they were into a more palatable way for a newer audience, yeah. um, but I think people like going down like Tony Hawk got great critical acclaim. Monkey you know? King says Resident Evil remake. I don't know if Resident Evil need a remake. I'm not like, no, but it was they, like they did it. that's like the best yeah, they, remake though. They, like they did, it, but I'm saying I don't know if they need to continue making remakes. Like I feel like they keep making new well, games. That's like, like well, ninety. I, like that's a game that even I wasn't able to play when look, I was a kid. Like I'm glad they made that remake because. And again, it's like one of those grails. It's like grails of games, and like they're remaking it for people, younger generations, to actually consume that, experience that, and just like also, like yeah, you, they did the second one, right? Yeah. I I mean, they're gonna get to the point to where they're just gonna do what they're doing with Crash Bandicoot, where they're like, okay, here's the new one. Because yeah. the second one was so revered, even more than the first one, mm-hmm. that there's certain ones that they have to do, and then eventually they could be like, okay, here's an an actual direct sequel to this one, and we're forgetting about the other ones. Yeah, I mean that's what they're gonna do. But like, I feel like the gameplay doesn't really change that much. I mean, yeah, you get new mechanics, of course, like within the new games. But I mean, like 
Like that's like getting the new like uh, what do we get? Devil May Cry, right? Mm-hmm. We got a new Devil May Cry, and then like we get like a Devil May Cry three remake. Like well, why? Here's the thing: it, it's tightened up. But when they eventually do, okay, here's the next new Resident Evil game that's brand new, right? Um, going off of what we just built, you're going to get a Crash Bandicoot situation where, okay, no, we're updating this, and this is going to be updated, and you are going to get new stuff. Like, yeah. you are going to get the mask mechanics. You are going to get this. Eh. You are going to get different jump mechanics. You're going to get the circle. Like, th- there's different things that they added to that yeah. where it really brought Crash into a next generation, like, audience. Because the old games, they're good. But like if they're that of an older no time other. in terms of the control scheme, so the and they're adding it to where like they're adding a ton of stuff to it. So you're gonna get that with these other properties if they succeed. I think you're gonna see a lot of things like medieval yeah. that swing, yeah, and miss. True, Diamond did swing and miss. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of that. That's what I mean. We just get these random titles like but every oh, once in a while. Do you think it's gonna get saturated that. again, like the every, like the way it always is? Though? Every once in a while, though, you're gonna they're gonna swing and it's gonna be a home run, and then they're gonna run with that, and we're gonna get these revitalizations of all these different franchises that like we missed. I feel like THQ would mm. be one company that could definitely benefit from this type of system. Yeah, give me fucking like, Kingdoms of Armor. They just did it. Like I just see. I did see the reviews what, what for that was one. Company, what was it? Kingdoms. Of no, the Art. company said. Oh, THQ oh, Nordic. THQ. Oh, okay. THQ Nordic. Yeah, they make like the SpongeBob games and like the little they kart should, races. Are they gonna? Shit. Yeah. Battle of Bikini Bottom brought that back. Like they're they're really like going in for that like nostalgia bone. I low key want yeah. the I think the Shrek game that was on GameCube like a remake for that. What's up? Like Why that. Shrek, bro? That's what because you asked that game for? was so what? fun. Like. Real shit. Yeah. Like you could play as like Shrek, you could play dude. as Donkey. It was like it was like a, like a like an Ultimate Alliance, but with like Shrek characters. Like, That's the type the of game, bro. When you go to the dentist and the dentist has a fucking GameCube station for you to fucking do it. That's Bring like the type back of game. Open season That's for my PS2. First, you know what I mean, Adrian? Open season. Now that you said that, that was my first experience with Zelda, like at a fucking doctor's office. <laughs> I, go to the, I still remember yeah. that. I remember Pull that up. Pull up Open Season. Two. I, 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 it was one of the like Ocarina of Time games. I think I played like on a little fucking like they had like a Nintendo 64 <laughs> in the office. Yeah. And I was just like, let me just sit down. I guess. I, I can't wait. I, mean, they're, they're, I did it. They're, they did announce a new Zelda game, I think. What do you got them looking up right now? Fucking full se- open season, whatever this bullshit game is. Yeah, 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 look at it. Look how bad it is. It just really brings us back to that, um, that the when we had tons of licensed games, like My the thing, PS2 why don't generation. They, like, remake games that were big titles, like Left 4 Dead. Like, why don't we get like a Left 4 Dead remake? Like, Dude, why are they so hesitant? I like how it says titles, open you know? season, full game, and it says 100%, 100% <laughs> completion, and it only took them two hours and 41 minutes. <laughs> That game That's is not trip. fucking long, dude. I played the shit out of this tra- game. You, and how did it take talk? you? Uh, I don't remember, but I really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, look. You know what I mean? Bear. This looks like this some, like... A classic. Ten-year-old, like... This look at, is fucking... Look at how easy that achievement was. Aunt look at that. This game from Christmas has game. Doesn't really know what games I play, but, like, she wants to get me a game. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly how I got it. Was. It was from, like, an aunt that was, like, didn't really, like, know me oh, that well. He has an Xbox. Yeah, look at this. Xbox. So she went like, into a GameStop. It's like, he has an Xbox. You, you ever have the... And I have $5. What ever, can I get? You ever have the aunt that gets you the game for the wrong console? No, I never, never had, had that. I, I've had that. Never I had think like, they avoided that by literally giving us every like all our cousins had the same console. I feel like that happens. Like your aunt just never really cared about you because she could still just ask your mom like, "What console does he have?" Dude, and she could easily just you like ask so you. Much like, but I think that's how it got wrong. My mom doesn't know. She called my PlayStation like to a Game Boy for like the longest time. It's a Nintendo. For wow. me, like, it's a Nintendo. You play your Game Boy, yeah, or a that's Nintendo. Crazy. Mine's a Nintendo. Like even for like even like to this day, she's like, "Go play your Nintendo." I was like, "All right, whatever. I'm going to correct you." Wow. Like, go play your Playbox. You must will not even say anything. It's just like, yeah, I'm not. I'm like, go play Mario on my PlayStation. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, moms. But yeah, for Mexicans, it's always like, "Hey, go what, your Nintendo. Are you playing your Nintendo?" I was like, "Yeah, whatever, mom." That's funny. All right, next piece of news: uh, Xbox Series S and X release their, their their price tags. I'm sure you guys both have seen them. Yeah, right? dude, uh, so the crazy. Series X they coming out with five hundred dollars, um, which I think is reasonable. And then you have the Series S, which they they put it at a whopping three hundred bucks deal. Um, and I was deal looking at the, the two. century right there. Um, I mean, you guys have any impressions on that? Just going before I say anything more. I'm copping the Series S. Why? Because it's gonna be next gen. And 1440p, I'm cool with that. Yeah. My main console is PlayStation. If I want to play the exclusives, I'm not trying to cash out 500 bucks. Keep me that 299. That's a good point. Or you could just get a PC, and you're good. For or and 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 or you could do more with it. Like so do stuff thing, right? for the channel. You can edit. You can That's do banners. Crazy you can do all this stuff. I don't want to. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's crazy because I don't want to. But, but 299 is perfect, bro. 
the that's a solid. You guys don't understand. That's a solid price point. Like such a solid for next price gen. Point. And think like about like how many parents, how many like I like think the Switch was two ninety nine. Yeah, no, exactly, bro. Like yeah. two ninety nine, and that's, then you can get a Switch crazy. or an Xbox S. And uh, the Xbox is going so digital. They're they're pushing hard for their fucking uh, online services. It's a fucking win for them. Like two ninety nine is so solid because they're banking on the services of Xbox. Uh, Everything like Xbox I everything. Was, Project I forget what Cloud, it's called. No, Games no, Pass. Games Pass. There you go. Yeah, well, they're, they're banking so much on that, and then they're gonna win because for three hundred bucks, I'm copping that. You know why they're banking on that? Because they five hundred gigabyte hard drive in that bitch. Yeah, five hundred, dude. I don't. That's a Call of Duty game. All right, one hundred percent. But I'm not gonna play <laughs> Call of Duty on that game. All right, let me read a little bit from the article uh, real quick. So, uh, system architect Jason Ronald said, it's, uh, "The next so, gen Jason, games has been made as easy as." as easy as possible so the games can be built seamlessly for the Series S and X. He had the developers will typically optimize for the Series X first, which obviously duh, and then scale down for the Series S. Uh, but keeping all the new next-gen features, which I'm not too sure what they mean by next-gen features. Like, I am you know if they're just talking about the smart delivery yeah. or is there something else as far as next-gen delivery, uh, next-gen features. But like you said, I mean, the Series S is not going to be a 4K. It's going to be running at 2K strong. Um, 120 frames, and the big difference is like Mikey was saying is really like the 500 gig versus the one terabyte, um, and Guess then what? the RAM speed external from the Series S. Oh, plug in an external Sorry. USB, 50 bucks, bam, I, two I think terabytes. I nope. Tuned you out a little bit. Did you bring up the 1080p 4K difference? Yeah, so the Series S is going to be uh, 2K 4, 1440 uh, max, as far as resolution goes, um, with the 120 frames per second, 120 frames with upscaling. Um, um, you know, running through that 120 frames, and then it has half the storage for the Series X, so the 500 versus the one terabyte of storage, and then the RAM speed is a little bit lower, so you have slower loading times on the Series S compared to the Series X. I'm cool with that. Um, outside of those two things, I mean, the big difference is the graphics cards, so you get less teraflops with the Series S. It's kind of like a mini Series X. You need but those flops, dog. I don't know if that matters. That maybe like towards the end, or maybe like the middle of the the Series X or Gen Five next gen like life cycle. Maybe see that being a big like yeah. part of like games or like as far as graphics goes but i don't know i feel like right now like 300 bucks if you want to experience next gen games i feel like that's solid like why buy the series x i um, mean teraflops flip flops tiktoks playstation AK, and five like they're, they're, yeah, that's all i gotta say performance graphics i mean why get a pc you know like you already saw the difference you know and it's gonna be kind of like that where yeah. it is you're gonna get that pc quality in terms of clarity but 4k like at most three, people at have shit tvs too. anyway right 300 dollars, bro that's most people have shit tvs anyway that aren't really putting exactly. out 4k 100%. output so it's like that's who this is for yeah that's get you this, this 2k tv or that's, 2K, that's what it is 2k tv 2k tv <laughs> play 2k on it do whatever you need to do <laughs> play 2K all on right it. <laughs> it's fucking solid for 2.99 it's a fucking deal for me it's perfect like i'm not gonna cash out $200 more for a Series X when I know it's not going to be my primary gaming console. So the Series S is also only digital. So there's no disc version of the Series S. I Guess forgot what? to mention that. External hard drive, boom. Give me two more terabytes for like 60 No, I'm talking about like disc list. Like the Series yeah, S is all digital. That's fine. I'm literally going to get the Xbox for exclusives. Oh, external hard drive. I don't know why I brought that up a second time. My no, bad. it's all good. But no, I mean, uh, 500 terabytes, <laughs> uh, disc list, uh, whatever it may be, that's cool. But you got to keep Halo. in mind, Xbox is using proprietary memory cards for external hard drives. It's going to be, Ooh, it's a cost. It's, yeah, it's uh, from Seagate. It's a very custom. So you have to get the Seagate you have to get external the Seagate. one in specific? Yeah, I, remember, I forgot they did do that. It's like, the, it's like the Xbox 360 with their hard drive, yeah. that bullshit. What's nice though is like $34 more. Since the Xbox is backwards compatible, you can actually get an external hard drive for all your Xbox One games or your Xbox 360 games and then just store the Xbox uh, Series S games or Series X games. That's my producer on, talking to you on guys. The, uh, on the internal. Right. Spin you guys with that's some God new talking, by the way. Yeah, dude, that's like facts right there. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, Jumping either way, I mean, balls. it's not going to be crazy expensive. If I want a terabyte of yeah, that, they're not no. going to charge me two hundred bucks for it. Because if that's the case, yeah, you're a dumbass. Get the you're some uh, Series you could, X or your or your Sony. You know what I mean? Oh, you're so like the PlayStation, the PlayStation Vita. Hey, yeah. thirty two fucking gigabytes on the Vita. <laughs> it's Guess only a hundred dollars. <laughs> Eighty dollars. Like fuck you, dude. <laughs> so what do you guys think is the PlayStation responses? Like, do you think they released the all digital version of the PS5 drop it hot? Three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. No, no, they gonna drop it hot. If Dude, wait, if PS5 there. came out at 300 for the all digital, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. If they did, that is huge. 399, 499. That's my prediction. We talked about this on Tech Fever, and we've talked about it on the show again. Yeah. 
Xbox is better spec'd, but PlayStation is designed to work better together. So it's literally a Microsoft versus Apple argument. Whereas, like, your Apple stuff runs better. And, it, like, it, 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 sure, you can't get the same amount of power, but you can't really tell, like, video editors like using Macs because of um, ev everything, how well everything works together yeah, internally. And to do that, you are, it's a more of a premium cost. I'm thinking we're going to get 550 450 Really? I think that's I think that's going to be the price point. Price gets announced for the PS5. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, right? Wednesday which they I, drop everything. I wanted to talk to you guys after. If, if I hope they undercut maybe we'll be able promise because they said they were going to cut one, but cut low on the PlayStation or the Series let's, X. I don't know if you guys remember that. Guess right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, but right. they said they were going to sell it like the PlayStation Five a little cheaper than the Series X. Like they wanted to make to make that a promise. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, I don't know. They already priced the Series X at five hundred. So I'm hoping for four fifty. I, I don't just, know. I love the way that it got leaked, and I love <laughs> how they tweeted it. What they what they tweeted? What they tweet? I didn't see. Uh, it. You didn't see how they tweeted Xbox when it got leaked. So apparently, it got leaked like midnight. Some weird shit happened midnight, mm -hmm. and then Xbox just straight up tweeted that monkey. That's like at like uh, two a.m. Two a.m. Like monkey? it's like midnight, and they tweeted that thing. We're like. Oh. oh shit! Like it's one of those like bro, what? You know yeah. that monkey, the puppet, pop the puppet monkey. Uh, yeah, the pull it up, puppet? pull it up if you can, yeah. if you could on Twitter. But it's hella funny. Yeah, but they literally just tweeted cute. that up, and then uh, like two hours <laughs> later, they're like, "Fuck it, let's make it official." Series X. No, no, they, they announced the Series S. They're like, "Here's the Series S." I heard I got more news on to come. And they the the tweet they put was just hella funny because they literally just be like, "Well, they did that googling <laughs> emoji, which Click was pretty Xbox. fucking funny." Like, oh. you should probably just go to media or something. Go, like that. go to Look Xbox and the media. God, and then they'll find it out, but it's just hella funny because that's how figure it out. He's my producer. <laughs> Let him do his. He's better than you. Okay. Like whoever's running their Twitter account is actually pretty good. But look, not so, as good as the Fall Guys Twitter account. Shout out to Fall Guys Twitter account. They're actually pretty funny. So we get the Series S, right? And I feel like it's definitely a short run thing. Like I was saying, like I feel like like towards the middle of the life cycle of next gen, yeah. you're gonna get those, you know, those maximized games where they get like the maximized graphics plus the maximized frame rate and like everything's like those silky smooth games. Like I feel like we're gonna get those like middle of the life cycle, which I think the Series S will start to fall off. Uh, I feel like like if you get the PlayStation Five right now, like you're banking on the long game. Like you're really here for the long run, which yeah. I think all console gamers are going to be. Still looking for this fucking tweet. Um, <sighs> so I'm trying to. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> but I, it's like you're banking on the long game right now with the PlayStation Five because you're gonna hope that these next gen games you do get, you and they did it. give you oh. a lot of games that they did promise you with the last uh, little PlayStation oh. event, State of Play. Yeah, so no, it's no. Like, you're going to bank on those games being run at the most efficient, the most optimized way going alongside. Like, they have TVs that are, you know, made to go hand in hand with the PlayStation 5 now. It's like, Sony's trying to set up for this shit going into the future where, like, Xbox is kind of, like, trying to set you up for, like, short term. Like, okay, like, if you want to get, like, the PlayStation or the Xbox experience, like, you can get this $200 console. You can mm -hmm. buy this Game Pass if you have a PC. Like, they're trying to just put the experience yeah, in my yeah. face, whereas, like... I feel like Sony, like, kind of going with, like, Mike was saying, right? Like, the whole system, like, with Mac, I feel like PlayStation 5 and Sony's trying to build you this system around gaming rather than just kind of throw it at your face. No, and, and that's why I'm hella... Like, they blinked... I mean, Xbox accidentally blinked first with this whole leak. Yeah. Um, and so now PlayStation could easily... They have a whole week... This past week is all Xbox news, so Sony said that you can have your news, we'll have the everything else. It's literally kind of like that. We're going to take the week, the news of week next week. I don't know what they're going to announce on Wednesday. Um, obviously, we have a good idea that they're going to the announce price, at the least. price. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what they drop, so more than likely they're going to drop. I think, when did the pre-orders go live for uh, Xbox? They say the 23rd, right? If I'm wrong. Or am I oh, right? Yeah, yeah September 20... They the pre-order start date? They said that they, oh, you, could, um, you could actually pre-order them starting that day, which is fine. Oh, shit. Your boys and if, uh, have that credit card ready. Be like, <laughs> slide it. Bro, just build the PC. Get your credit card ready for that. Bro, my PC's there. It's ready. How about that? I play Among Us on it. Oh. I get 4K graphics. Oh, you on do it. have you do have a little gaming PC. Oh, uh, I play cute. I play Among you Us on it. Laptop. He buy a little gaming. Oh I'm yeah, remember who pushed you to buy that gaming laptop? I don't know. It was <laughs> Jesus, it be on. They forget. But <laughs> that's what it is. I mean, you're absolutely right though with the whole PlayStation concept and idea. Like that's truly what they're going to be going for, 100. percent So just stop trying to spend your money. There's 300 bucks. And just buy it for the long game, man. No. Your boy's going to get a PlayStation 5. You're going to get the uh, one that's going to cost more just because. Okay? Just because. Uh, your boy's a PlayStation stand. All right? Trying to play Godfall on it. This so guy, up, dude. Are you going to get an Xbox, Doc? Where are you going to get Are you going to get it? I'm no. Going Rest my case, Xbox Your Honor. Game Pass. Yes, wow. sir. So you can uh, play on your PC, right? Yep. So I can play on PC. Let me, That's let me, wild. I'm going to use that transition to the next piece of news because <laughs> Xbox Game Pass... 
They're rising the price. Alright, they're gonna raise the price uh starting on the seventeenth of September. They right? listen to the show. Fuck. They're yeah. like, oh no. <laughs> like, oh no, everyone's just gonna buy an Xbox. I'm pretty sure they knew everyone's just gonna buy a fucking PC or just everyone that has a PC is just gonna get that and just fuck buying the new fucking Xbox because like I have my graphics card, right? So uh Xbox Game Pass is going from five dollars up to ten dollars. And that's just PC only, that's not both. Just PC version, yeah. So I think the console version is already ten bucks a month. Um, but the PC version was at first five bucks a month. So like, if you have a PC now, hmm, I'm not am. looking at you. I don't know. I, I don't mean, you got you you do. You got a laptop. That's Te- crazy. Technically, X Cloud. You I'm can play kidding. all the games with X Cloud on your PC. But I just think I don't game on Xbox. But listen, bro. like, you I can mean, just, you can just those, get an so Xbox sorry. Game Pass. So, like, I can get Xbox Game Pass, and we can just play Xbox games. Like, play it'll be the same. Halo. You know what? You know what? Yeah, the last Halo. time I turned on my Xbox for you know what it was? What? It was to watch Crunchyroll. Look. Right, Literally so why the are you last trying to spend 300 bucks? To I watch agree Crunch with you. I I'm agree not, with you. I'm trying to get Halo. When exactly. Halo drops, I'm in there. I'm you have it on your when PC. That other exclusive drops. Ten dollars a month for, for you. Uh, you get it on your PC. You attach that to your uh, and TV. And you can play with your controller. My you attach it to my, your TV. You're good to go. I can't. No. And you can play with your controller. All you need is an adapter to connect it to your TV, bro. Just connect your controller to your PC or your laptop. So I can get lag and get die and blame it on the lag. What do you mean get lag? Just wire it in. The input lag. Oh my god. Jesus. What do you mean? You have a fucking 4K strong running <sighs> gaming PC. Like, I don't think you're gonna have lag. I don't think so. So yeah, I mean, it, ten bucks. If you are gonna build a PC, now's a good time because the 3090 drops. I think what on the 17th. If you're able to get so that, be like what 400 bucks. It's like 1600. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But it is supposed that. to be like the fucking best graphics card. Just oh, cheeks, that. big, bad, and bougie. You gonna get it right? What uh, the. You know, the new NVIDIA 3000 series, 3080, 3060. I want to. I mean, we'll see how this year goes. You know what I mean? It's not going good. So I was planning on it, but (laughs) not anymore. No, I'm actually really concerned that I'm not going to get a PS4 pre-order. Like, I'm really PS5. Why just be on it? If the pre-orders come out this this year. Bro, just pawn some of your stuff, bro. Have you seen Pawn Stars? If the PS5 comes out this year, I really cannot do that right now. Like, I mean, if the pre-orders come out this month, like... Just with my car issues that I've had, and like I, I will not be able to oh, do. We're roommates, right? I'll so figure like, something out. We're roommates, so like I'll cut What's you yours a deal right mine. now. So like exactly. I'm gonna get this PS5, right? And like I'll let you play my PS5 as like as long as I can play like your Oculus Quest, you know? Just <laughs> oh, for sure, that's a done deal. But you can only play when he's not there and when he's not in the house. We'll figure something out. But you gotta like, you know, what I'm saying you gotta you gotta make sure it's like wiped down because like. Yeah, you get to you read your cheetah posts. And Don't you wish uh, PlayStation had that financing plan too? <laughs> nah. No, yeah. I'm not broke. It's okay. PlayStation is they they gonna make that money. You can't do me like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. If they if they if like they that. came out with some kind of financing plan, I'm all in. No, hundred percent. Is that why you want to get the the Xbox? For what? For Halo? financing plan? Fuck no, dude. You trying to get the Xbox so for Halo, cheap. but like you can literally just. Pay ten dollars and get Halo a month, bro. It's not you don't pay ten bucks. How, how long are you paying Halo a month for a full year? You still be spending less than three hundred bucks. Play t- to pay ten dollars for one month. Play okay. Halo and, and then cancel it. Cancel it. Yeah. Literally, if you paid Halo for two years, I think that's still less than three hundred bucks. My man's got a point. <laughs> my man's got a point. All right, and uh, not just Halo. Other things that they release. Boom, bop, beep. Boom, bop, beep. beep. It, it Next piece of news. Boop. It takes like three so years. You're saying. Tax. If I'm over here, I shouldn't even support. I just just get Game Pass one month, call it a day, boom. I'm saying like, unless you're looking for like that hardcore like Series X, like if you want to play on your 2K graphics, even though you have a 4K, you know, uh, laptop. I mean, you do you. You're right. You I mean, you. like if you're gonna do it, do the. 4K but if you're gonna do one. it just for one game, I'm not here for it. Yeah. That's all I'm if saying. you're gonna do it, I say go big, go the X Series X. I mean, I might I mean just, if you, you want to do it, I'm gonna wait go on big, it. It's just ten bucks. Just because Halo is not even gonna be a launch title, bro. Mm-hmm. What's the point? So true. You know, this is gonna I be a launch what... title. Halo's not gonna be a launch title. What's gonna be a launch title for Halo or uh, for Xbox? Assassin's Creed no. Valhalla. I'll play it on the PlayStation Five. Has now moved up one <laughs> week to match Xbox Facts. Series X and Series S launch. So that's gonna be a launch game for the Xbox. Here you go. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's, it's also gonna be a launch for the PS Five. I, I mean, look, that's not important. And guess what? I, I, I'm I gonna get told a PS5. you that, but like, you want to spend 300 bucks. So let me let you know, like, you spend 300 bucks, and then you can play this game, which I can also play on my PlayStation. Look, look, I'm I like, got you. Google Stadia. 
You can play on Google Stadia. Nobody uh, can. Stadia. Oh, November, you don't even need to get November it. November tenth instead of November seventeenth because like they knew like Xbox was gonna do a little bad, right? So they were like, let's just move knew. it up because like it's not like Assassin's Creed has a lot of content. It's not like we did much with the game as far as like you know change it up. Um, we just made a female character, but like. I haven't played the game, so like, who am I to say that about you know the game? So like, I feel like Black Ops is gonna be coming out. I feel too. like that's unfair. Uh, it is unfair. That's why I said that. Um, Black Ops is gonna be coming out. Warzone's gonna be coming out again. They got zombies in this one. No, Warzone's not coming out again. They're there's just there's so many the rumors Warzone. that I've been reading about Warzone. How they're gonna do? They're gonna try to tie it with Cold, Cold War. Yeah, yeah. Like, get yeah. a new America. But it's not gonna that. be a that new Warzone. Sense. They're updating the current yeah. Warzone. I am very disappointed with that new Call of Duty trailer. Shut up, nerd. Nobody producer. It looks like trash. Is a new Call of Duty trailer? I mean, go ahead, pull it up. I mean, there's uh, much to this piece of news, honestly. I, just I mean, to bring it's that up very can... Black Ops was my first <laughs> like game. That you know what, you know what? Being you honest mean? with the audience, <laughs> let me just say, I could have gone if I was uh, if, during my uh, Call of Duty heydays. I could have gone pro during Black Ops. I'm just saying, I could have gone pro. I don't think you honestly, compa. It's hard. To I feel be. like Uncle Rico. Like those are my days. <laughs> <laughs> I could through the bar sixty yards over that hill. <laughs> over the hill. <laughs> I'm like Uncle Rico. Like yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops. What do you play a lot of now? Right now, like yeah. Um, I'm trying to uh, Fall Guys. I'm into that right you now. Pull Among up that Us. Call of Duty trailer. Uh, I'm yeah. still playing yeah. Warzone, trying to get those dubs. Right, it's fun. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, no, keep no, no, going, you're good. Going. You're that's my list of games time at this point because you know I'm trying to knock the rust off my man's back there. That's what it is, man. Just gotta play some games that are out there. I mean, I, I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima. I'm a single player. I was trying to play it today before I got called into work. But it's cool. Shit happens. But yeah, you need you can't yeah, just play too. that like twenty minutes, thirty minutes. I'm like I'm lying to you right now. For what? Like, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh no no like, no no! You, 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 you down for at least you an hour. play yeah an hour or two. I hours felt that, hour. and that's what turned me off to it. I was like, I can't commit. You can't. It's not one of those nightcap games. Like you can't just hop no, in and go to sleep and go to sleep. Like no, you're gonna have to really like because like I watched like, T Pain play it. I watched T Pain play it. There's some fast travel, but like there's not a lot of fast travel in that game. So like traveling itself is probably gonna run you at least like five, seven minutes just look, to get from one area to the other. Look at this trailer, bro. How do you not like this trailer, bro? dude? What the multiplayer looks look so good. Like look this game that. looks so good. It look looks like a copy and paste of Modern Warfare. It looks like Modern Warfare reskinned. Honestly, I know, but that's. I mean, isn't that Does really that look what like Call a reskin right there? Well, I mean, isn't that what it's gonna be in anyway? a good We're way? This no. in Warzone, right? That that that's what was unique about each developer. Call of Duty had like a rotation of different developers, and each game had its own unique feel. This, this is different. Is this, this is Black Ops. Different. It is gonna be different. different. It looks I mean, Warzone exactly is still like Modern Warfare based, so I mean, yeah. I I'm guess not talking about Warzone. I'm talking about like. Yeah, look. This, to I me, this is. Agree this screams with you Black if you're Ops talking about FIFA and like Madden. Yeah, it's a hundred percent reskin, but this is not a reskin. It. I mean, it, it's a light reskin, but looks like fucking good. I'm not gonna it, lie looks, to you. it looks. It looks very similar. Look at that, bro. On the PC. It looks no, it similar. has Black Ops vibes. Like Black Ops has yeah. a very different a vibe. I, to I, it. I think map design, yes, colors, everything for sure. But if you're actually looking at like player animations, well, how many these are guns? If you're doing a Call of Duty game, like they tried that. They tried that with Advanced Warfare, and I loved it, but a lot of people didn't. Yeah, like that's a big thing for me. I bet you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's up? You can do that in Modern Warfare? That, bro, you can't do that. The the gameplay, modern Warfare space. show. Oh my it's really God. just the explosions and the color that's doing it for me. The grittiness. There's a little bit more grit to it, which is always cool. How much did Infinity War pay you, you shill? Look at that. Look at that, I'm bro. Not, I, I, hate the infin- I hate the Modern Warfare engine that they use. That engine is... Shut up. I, I you don't sound like dumb. <laughs> I do not like the You sound like dumb. You sound like it, a Debbie Downer. You want to be in, in the hospital again? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I saw the people playing I, it during the beta. Like they had, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> they had the, We're friends. Did you guys see the streamers like when they did the beta for yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it looked hella cool. It looked yeah. good. It looked different. I mean, I, I mean, you know what? I want to be wrong. I really do. It looks like a solid like next gen game. Like another Call of Duty. I, you know, I, I if they brought back it's not even a next gen game though. And dive into shit. I didn't I actually never saw the full trailer. Like this. Next gen. It's it's more cross gen. I mean, it's yeah, it's cross gen. Yeah, because you could buy. You could actually buy it now if you wanted to. Well, I mean, I'm still, like, looking forward to Avengers being on next gen. I mean, I know it's, like, cross-gen technically, but, like, I'm looking forward to it on the PS5. Dude, you know I know, I mean? me too, but I can't wait to carry that over. Like, I'm happy, PS5. like, I bought that game just so I can get the version for free on the PS5. Because, I'll like, wait for Did the, they confirm that? Yeah. Is that that's that's something thing. I would rather, from them? I would rather mm-hmm. wait I think and you have to get code from Ubisoft because yeah. they had you do a login. Remember? That's cool. I like that. That's or really dope. I just want to know. More people should do that. I kind of want to Call of Duty doesn't do that. Oh, I kind of want to hold off. 60 bucks. 70 bucks. 120 if you want it for both. Oh I still God. remember the Black Ops gave you multiple endings, and I know they're doing it again yeah, for Cold yeah, War. Yeah, that's so it's a little funny how it's going to work and how it's going to be. I just remember the numbers, Mason. Hmm. What do they mean? November 13th. The so numbers. Like, after we get the launch on the 10th, you get Valhalla, and then you can buy Call of Duty, right, on your Xbox, because it's not like you're going to get one, you know, Look, look at zombies, bro. Look at these zombies, bro. Look at this zombie map right here. 
Who? Uh, Woo! Ooh. I don't like zombies. Me neither. I, it's just it's I can't do it. I just can't do it. Shut up! Koopa. I still remember <laughs> zombies, bro. That shit was fun. They did. They, they lost me though. After like once they started getting way too intricate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they got like fucking make me feel like Black Ops Three. Yeah. Probably. Zombies. I get done with zombies they after had, like, like round ten. They had, you yeah. had to do so much over. Trash. Can we over stop with. this? Like okay, like I get it. Like, cause you're I think trash. we've kind of nailed them. Like they're not gonna get in here. Like round ten, we're good. Let's let's go shoot some actual real people, right? Um, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Real in people game. shooting in game. Shoot it, shoot on sight, bro. Video games doesn't make you violent. Uh, next next piece of news I got is uh, Colin Kaepernick is now a free agent in Madden 2021. Dumbest shit I've seen. Huh. So he's not in the game. He's not in the NFL. Dumbest he's not a player, but he's in the game. Um, I'm gonna read a little bit about this. I have actually have a, a statement from yeah, EA. Yeah. So EA makes the announcement. They're saying, knowing that our EA Sports experience are platforms for players to create, we want to make Madden NFL a place that reflects Colin's position and talent. Rates uh, him. Oh, wait, wait. Colin's position and talent rates him as a starting QB and empowers our fans to express their hopes for the future of football. So not only he's in the game, I guess he's actually starting QB on the game over the actual 49. 49ers quarterback, which I, I for the lack of me, I'm not, I'm not a football guy. Yeah, Jimmy when do you guys G. know who's it? What, Jimmy G? The starting QB Jimmy for Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo. Is he good? Jimmy yes, Garoppolo. he came from the Patriots. No. The way well he played this past week, bro, yeah. he played like shit. Yeah. What are you talking about? The 49ers, they're so explosive. Yeah, we got that tweet aged well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, my boy Jonas pointed that out. He said, yeah, this aged well. Let me finish the statement real quick. Go ahead, man, sorry. So the last part of the statement is they've worked with Colin to make this possible. We're excited to bring it to you all. Um, so Colin's in the game and he's starting QB over Jimmy, whoever he just said. And I don't know if I'm here for it or not, because I know his rating is higher, obviously, than this guy. Yeah, but it feels forced. This hundred percent feels. Forced. You know when you we know, talk about pandering, where yeah. it, it, it it's no. skeevy, like skeevy pandering, like yeah. pandering for pandering's sake to score points. Yeah, it's exactly what this you is. You know what this was? This what? was that giant hashtag on Twitter where they wanted the uh, where they wanted the NFL to revoke EA's like exclusive license yeah. to make games. And then, like a few days later, this came out. This well, is like EA's. You response. know what's all the dumb? Do you My still boy Stokes the says in the chat. He's saying, uh, "Callen in the game. He's actually the highest rated free agent quarterback." Nice. I mean, that's great. That's I mean, probably true, to be honest. Because if you're trying to win, you're trying to get dubs. Guess what? You're gonna go for that guy. So, I mean, but it feels forced because, bro, like last last year's game, they had Big Sean's song and they censored his name. Yeah, let's not forget. So they about go that. from fucking censoring his name. To that's like, a good oh, point. Shit, he's in there, and then all of a sudden they want to flip their whole thing and be like, "Nah, he's a free agent. He's we want you on the team." Like, what? Like, that's it's just point. so stupid how they do that. It's from what I've heard, the games. But I mean, if you remember, like, if you look up, I heard it's better than Colin Kaepernick mentioned out of the song. Like, there's articles and people are like, "Yo, why the fuck did you censor Colin Kaepernick?" Mm -hmm. And then now, all of a sudden, he's in the game. He, he celebrates with his fists up, which again, great. I like what they're doing, but it, to me, it just feels forced and it's kind of safe face for the NFL. And, like, even like this whole week, like when the NFL started, obviously with everything that's going on, like they're doing so many, like they're trying to do these little things throughout the whole like game in the NFL today. Mm -hmm. Like on the end zones, they have end racism and we're all in this together. Um, in the helmets, they have the names of people who were killed by police and all that stuff, which is great. Like, those little things are great, but it just sucks that obviously, I mean, I'm glad they're protesting and I'm all for it, but it, so the way that like, it came to be, like, yeah. they're a little late to the show. Three, like, years, they been, three years too late. That's what I'm saying. They should have been didn't the stand people. by them when he was kneeling, They didn't, and then they censored his and name after the kneeling. Now that it's the thing to do, now that, it, like, the public perception is, yes, we're for this, all of a sudden, they're like, okay, yeah, we'll yeah, do it too. Now Black Lives Matter, sounds like. All of a sudden, right? Now they're trying to, like, deflect the, the the cancellation that could happen down the road yeah. because of the censoring like you just said i forgot that was a point uh that did that was a big thing when they, uh, they had they to censor out Callan Kaepernick, the name from the actual like song in the game which i think was crazy and now they're trying to put him in the game it doesn't feel like a little pandering like you were saying um yeah. where they're trying to it's just 100 pandering. save their ass so like ea doesn't get canceled nfl doesn't get canceled like it seems like they're just trying to like prevent like this cancel culture from taking over now you know what i'd be stoked for what for colin kaepernick to actually be in the nfl the, and the news well, is like he deserves that came out like, he, he had his chance he just I, honestly i think he was just too paranoid with no. what was happening to actually put himself back in the situation. He, yeah. he's 100 percent blackballed I, yeah no, yeah, uh -huh, hundred percent. Like that. That's so weird. Like, yeah. there's so many no. stats. Like, there was another stat that came out from the NFL. Like, just stats. Like, I really, I mean, not that I didn't care for them. Like, I'm glad to hear it. But there was a stat that said, yeah. "Oh, look, it's the season opener for the football uh, NFL, and there's ten active starters, uh, ten black active quarterbacks." Yeah. And I was like, 
all right, that's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. That's amazing. That's great. But they're quarterback. They're, they doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to throw in the fact that they're black. Like, it's great. But to me, they're the Colin Kaepernick should have been in there. There's a lot more quarterbacks that should have been in that category way back when. Look, like, it, just for them to actually have a category that says, oh, there's 10 of them. Like, why is there a number? Like, they're fucking, they have the talent. They play. They should be in there. Like, don't fucking make it. I mean, for my argument for the number count, like, I'm here for it. Like, no, even like on like too. Netflix, when we have like the titles that say like black, like black leads or black roles or. It's just more I'm here for to it. it. Yeah. I just feel like, again, it's just forced. Like, I mean, I'm super happy. Yeah. I can, they're all there, but this is like, it's just too, it feels too forced for me. Like, they're just trying it to send light to it. That's yeah. all it is. Like, I'm super happy for it. I'm NFL's good. It. Ignore all the New League stuff from before. NFL's good. Look, we got 10 black starters. That's how it kind of comes yeah, off. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's how I was thinking. Like, I'm all for it. But I'm happy, but it's just so not, dumb. Not the bore people with the, the, the sports talk, but, like, going back to my original point with, like, Ka- Kaepernick, he should be in the NFL because, um, like, in the past years with him being blackballed, he was better than a lot of the more quarterbacks. Than half the teams. Yeah, more, more than, than half, half the, the, the quarterbacks on. I'm not, no, I'm not trying to cut you off, but Stokes says Cap and Eric Reed. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Yeah, He's also Eric blackballed. Reed. Black so blackball. So right now, he was, Colin Kaepernick. A, he was able to get a job, though. He's no, able to get back in the NFL? Eric he's not. Reed, yeah. Eric Reed doesn't have a team right now. No, no, not anymore, but he was able to go to the Panthers. He was with the little, Panthers, yeah, so he was, was with the Panthers. Niners for a while. He actually went to the store. Cool fucking guy. Yeah. I met him. Super well, I fucking cool guy. Cheeks. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. I just want the... <clears throat> we'll talk about the Eric Reed thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, I mean, you, could, you can continue with that thought. I mean, I was just saying that, like, that's when I would celebrate yeah. because, like, even when he, he just did, like, his own... To show that he was fit to play football still, uh, not too long ago, I think before yeah. 2020, uh, end of 2019. Was like a whole event, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Over. yeah, exactly, to show that he was still fit. Yeah. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's like everybody gets caught up on this, and the people who are like, some people are like, at my side where they're taking it like, oh, this is pandering, but there are a lot of people being like, look, like, look at the good thing that they're doing, blah, blah, blah. You get too caught up in the pand, like, people get too caught up yeah. in the pandering, and like, we should be pushing for him to actually be in. You know, because that's what matters. That's what speaks volumes. But he's blackballed because he decided to take a knee. That's Honestly, what pisses me. I don't off. even think Cap's trying to push again in the NFL anymore. Like, if he's still making money from being in the NFL without being in the NFL, like, obviously he worked with EA to get himself. And I'm sure yeah. he had to do like animation. You had to go to the studio and I had to like, you know, put a little senses and body on him. Like, no, I mean, camera, I'm all for yeah. Get his throw down right. Like, I'm sure, like, if he's still making money with out in the NFL, I mean, sure, it's obviously it's not as much money as he would before, but like, I'm sure, like, the impact he's making now. Uh, it's probably bigger than it was when it, when he wasn't in NFL. So like, I mean, he's still able to make a grind, make a living, and I mean, he's still making money from quote unquote being in NFL. Like, he's literally a starting QB in a game that he hasn't played literally yeah, in like what two, three years. Like, he hasn't played easily. football in so long, and he's starting and probably like higher rated than a lot of the other players. Which I think that's like I think probably one of my better. biggest things I was trying to get out from being this news type of guy is like just like how much and how big of an impact he's still having on like it's an influence, no, for sure. other things, even in the game. Right? It's like. I think it's a slap. I'm not trying to take it away from him, but I'm kind of looking at like, okay. I get what you guys are saying, 100%. Like, it is, uh, I hate the way they're doing it, but at the same time, I'm glad they're doing it because it raises a conversation. Like, we wouldn't have this conversation at all if it wasn't talking about it, right? It sucks that the way that they're doing it, but at the end of the day, guess what? People look up to him. People are happy to play him. It's going to inspire people to be better and be conscious of what, you know, the world's going on with today. And kind of like what's going on with Eric Reed, like, Eric Reed is pretty much one of Colin Kaepernick's best friend when he, they were in SF. Yeah, like he, Eric Reed was one of the first players to kneel right after. Like, yeah, oh shit, you doing? I got uh, you, you're my it. homie. He's very outspoken, intelligent ass dude. He got blackballed. Essentially, waited like a year almost. Got signed with Carolina. Fucking did spectacular in Carolina. Like he's a good ass cornerback, safety uh, position, whatever he is. I keep forgetting, but he's solid. Like he could easily be in playing in the NFL. But again, he's getting blackballed um, because he can't find a team. He's outspoken, and during these times, it's a distraction. It's something that you don't want, and. Uh, Eric Reed for sure should be on the team and Colin Kaepernick's his homie so at this end of the day it's a conversation people have and it's a, something that forces a conversation um, and it, it sucks that, like I said I just it sucks that the way that it's happening but I'm glad they're doing it because it just raises that conversation uh, raises that. last thing I want to say on this is if you accept pandering you're going to be getting nothing but screwed over in pandering for the rest of your life but yeah. if you actually push for the the important stuff the actual things that may move the needle um, then you'll actually get the things that move the needle. But if you accept pandering, you're going to get nothing but pandering yeah. because then they know they can bullshit you. That's bullshit all I got to say on that. No, no, you're right. I mean, it, at the end of the day, fucking do it. Like I said, if I was heavy into this thing, the thing about EA is that even just in the game in general, people are mad because they're saying that this generation, this uh, Madden 21, they say it's like the most reskinned game ever. Like there's nothing really kind of changing the game. 
for this one. I mean, I feel like it's like that for most sports games yeah. anyway. Like, no, no, they, they, which you're absolutely right. But people are saying that this is the most. Like, I literally remember seeing a video on Twitter where this guy did like a replay, and it, it says Madden 21 and everything. But like, if you go to the like the stands and the bleachers, like in the stadium, it'll say Madden 19. I'm weak, <laughs> and I'm just like, holy change. shit, this is real. Like, the guy literally <laughs> posted a video. He's playing Madden 21. He's like, look, I'm I'm in practice mode. I'm doing this. I'm in the stadium. And I threw a deep ball. I noticed a sign that was weird. And he straight up looked at the That's, like, thing. You know, hilarious. And it straight, up said, EM, it straight up said, Madden 19. They took, a, they, they took a corner. They cut a corner to get the check. It's EA. Like, I'm, they, they honestly, they seek out for the check, you know, from, from the go. So, like, I'm not surprised. And yeah. I was just I was laughing. I was like, bro, this, is, this game feels like the most reskin. And it sucks because um, there's no... Yeah. no competition it's kind of the exact thing that we talk about when there's no competition to a competitor you don't get inspired you don't get anything like that so I mean Madden who's a competitor like for it nobody so guess what if nobody's competing they're gonna release the same shit over and over with no they should be more innovative at least no like, I don't innovative. know if there's like a mode you know like 2k has like a blacktop mode and you can have your own character and like, like you can play online like I don't know if there's like a mode like that where you can have like pickup games like in Madden like NFL because like I feel like that'd be dope like like I bring up the old games like Blitz and shit like sometimes yeah. here and there on the channel because it's like those games are like probably like the funnest like football game experience yeah. I've had because you'll never catch me playing the Madden. You won't. <laughs> you'll rarely catch me playing the 2K to be honest. I can't with you. be playing the same thing over and over. I mean, for me, I have to wait like a year or two. Like I can't. I'm not exactly. Guy, I'm not like an iPhone. You got to be Madden. Exactly. Da, da, da. That's why I stopped buying Call of Duty. That's why I stopped buying Assassin's Creed. That's why I stopped buying a lot of these titles <laughs> that we get every year is because it's like I feel like I get the same game. Maybe a new map. Maybe a new gun. But like same game. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, that's what I hope for Madden. At least I hope this year is the year that shit changes for them. At least yeah. people like they actually take the consideration and like, okay, cool. We do need to change things up. Yeah. Like, give me NFL Blitz. Give me the NFL yeah, Street. Give me like those things. I still remember what's that game in the uh, GameCube was like a street? NBA hoops or streets. <laughs> Like, give me that stuff. When you're, like, dunking, like, <laughs> Like, right times. there. I'm telling you guys. Oh, okay. like, hey, we put have this a, on the... Yeah, 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 he was trying to find it. He was trying to find it. So, so this is exactly what I was talking about about for Madden 20. Like, it's a <laughs> Madden 20 Madden on the sideline and everything, right, guys? And Madden, then look. This is Madden 2021, right? But still, like, this is how much of a reskin it is. Like, they literally don't forget. They, they it's change in the this game. shit. It's in the game. Like, it's literally, like, <laughs> they fuck it up. Like, how do you EA. look at this? Like, that's how much of a bad reskin. There's no... <laughs> innovation there's no ingenuity like there's nothing that goes with this reskin so that's why a lot of people this year at least I they're mean, look, boycotting at least they're the shit of this game COVID, and know? this was last year too so it's like so i can only imagine what this it's is bad like that's how bad the madden games are getting there's no yeah. oh, okay cool i mean yeah they started they, they a couple years ago they tried creating like a story mode to it mm -hmm. but that's all good i mean nobody it's a story game to a, like yeah a, a lot of it was like, actually pretty good from what i heard it, it is, don't get me wrong, but that's no. there's no replay value to it. There's nothing that's going to make me come back to it. Like, I'm not going to play the same story that. over and over. Like, it's all good. I can see that. So hopefully Madden games and FIFA in general, um, EA, get their shit together. The one thing they only got right, EA got going on, is Squadrons. I think they're making Squadrons. I'm, exci I'm excited to see that. That one looks fucking dope. I want to probably... That's just, I just threw that out there because I know that a trailer dropped. It's like six minutes long. It looks fucking beautiful. It looks amazing. Flowers caught the middle of it. He said Squadron looks like ass, but it's cool. You know, I mean, you, you can CG judge. Trailer. I don't judge. Look, I just want to make a statement about these trailers that have been getting lately because like they're not really trailers. They don't make trailers like they used to anymore. Like a lot of these trailers are all cinematic. A lot of these trailers, so like pieces of the game that you'll never one. see yourself. And it's like, I'm tired of getting these trailers that are supposed to be like hype trailers when it's like, really? What am I watching here? Like I'm watching someone who really rendered this on a computer for maybe like eight hours <laughs> and put it on YouTube. And what? Star Wars Squadron? Oh, it's supposed to make me hype? Like, no. Like, this is going to make you hype? Bro. No, like, like skip to the middle of this because this is like 10 shirt, minutes. Bro. Look, you're talking to the guy Literally who's not a Star shirt. Wars fan. I just make you hype? I'm excited to I'm play it. This, this trailer, this, this, this fucking gives me a hard like, on, bro. This, this yeah, I mean, you buy the I don't really game. like yes. fight games that much, so I'm not like super hyped about it. But he's, he's annoyed that it's all pre-rendered. I like Star Wars. I'm not even know that it's pre-rendered. It's just like I know the game won't look or feel like this trailer is trying to give trailer, me the nuance bro, of cinematic trailer. Exactly. Why are you trying to give me a trailer of something I'll never get? Like I feel like it's false You're advertising, not gonna get it? bro. Oh my god. Like it's like when you get a game, right? Mm -hmm. And you see like like the intro. Like some games are like intro. I'm using like Dragon Ball Z for example. Like you look at the Dragon Ball Z like Tenkaichi series. You see the intro where you see like all the characters like doing their thing. Like it's rendered super so clean. Been, like I'm the graphics are super fucking hard. crazy. And you actually play the game, and it's like it's nothing bro. compared to what this looks like. Imagine this on your OLED though. Yeah, I really? mean, imagine if the game looked like this, but it probably won't. It's, it's I mean, this is, this is what the cutscenes are going to look like. No, this is a CG. 
Ghost of Tsushima. This is a cutscene. Okay, cool. But I, like, I'm not even a story guy, so it's like I skip this. Well, you're not a Star Wars guy. So this game, bro. You're I like Star this Wars. I like Star Wars. It's just not enough. I need more than just this. This isn't gonna hype me up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. First of all, I don't want to hear this coming from Compa, the most fake hype guy I know. Fake hype, bro. Look at this shit. Light speed. Where's he going? Damn. All his homies left. You got him. You got him. You got him. You got him. Right like there. it's true. <laughs> what I like, I can't hype? deny with the flowers. The any game that comes out, boop, you're, boop. Like, you're like, oh no, this is gonna be the best thing in the world. I know that. I so I know I'm not gonna get this. Like I'm not gonna be fucking playing <laughs> this. I, this is a fucking trailer, my guy. But look, even you trying to die for this trailer, like this trailer is even hype. We like, all know how Anthem worked. What out. are we hyped about here? Like, what does this trailer hype you for? Like, let's just talk it's, about that. Kompa was this. real excited for First Anthem. First of all, all right, I love this shit. Like, what all does right. it hype you up for? The X-Wing, Star the Wars sounds. Squadron. I just love the vibe. What nuance of the game you're getting from this? Like, okay, like, we're in space. Yeah. We're in Star Wars. So, I mean, that's a given. Right? Anything that it's gives me lo- more lore other than this the Skywalker the story, I'm no, all I'm hyped for. That's what we're excited. Like, we're excited to fly around in TIE Fighters and X-Wings and the story that goes along with it because they're telling two sides of the story. the man behind the pilot, bro. Who makes it? Who's the developer? Well, Who's the publisher? It would be different if you were like stoked on Star Wars, but you're not like super like in, like you like Star Wars, but you're not like super into Star Wars. So Monkey obviously King this says, is important. Monkey King says he'd be hyped if it wasn't EA. I don't know if this is made by EA, but it, like, it is. They they are exclusively yeah. like Star Wars, and it's actually running the Frostbite engine too. It's uh, developed by Motive Studios. Look, uh, I mean, no, look, but, I'm, hey, I'm here for this. Look at that. It's Bam, running bro. Frostbite. It doesn't make me though. hype. They look can't even shit, bro. Look at this. Now it's a one v one dogfight, bro. That's crazy. Now it's a Jedi Fallen Order was one of the best Star Wars. Of all time. That's different. I don't know who, if it's this yeah. is the same developer that makes. I know, but I'm someone who was Jedi Fallen was developed by Look at this shit, bro. Though. Look like, at this. I have a oh different my spot God. in my heart. No, but, it, but it's still, yeah. I mean, he published. He's dipping and I diving mean, and yeah, dodging. Yeah, Look at this. Those. Well, this isn't made by EA. This is know, published but, by EA. But EA oversaw this probably a lot more than they did on Respawn. Like, they left Respawn alone to make Jedi Fallen Order. I, don't know. I, mean, I think is why it was a good I, game. It's good speculation. I don't know. Oh, my God, dude. Obviously, they're going to have to run things by EA. Look at this shit. Yeah. Damn. But like, you guys, you, I know you're not. I mean, if you're playing this and then it goes to this type of cutscene, do you play I'm Ace Combat? Like, no. I play Flight Simulator, bro. I don't like flight stuff. You ever play Ace Combat? No. <laughs> no. Ace Combat's heat. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, if I had to pick a flight simulator, I'd pick Ace Combat. So you like, might. I know that's cool. very, like, cliche. But if like, you love Star Wars, why not get in that Star Wars Exactly. Feel? Why don't I just play fucking Battlefront then or something? Why don't you? I have. Yeah, why don't you? It's Me too. Ass, just like this game will be. Ass. Battlefront 2 was Battlefront pretty good. got a lot better, dude. Battlefront was Especially two. Right even now. when it came out, Battlefront two was pretty good. The like story was an abomination. I mean, if it, take, if, it, if, it, if it didn't take you like three years to beat one game, Jedi. maybe you'd actually play more. Okay, it's not my fault. Look, this is your jam. You just fly around. <laughs> you can't be you don't even have to care about the story. Look how beautiful it looks, dude. Come on, I like Monkey flying. King. Get get, bro. Is this one's? Come on, it looks nice. This looks beautiful. This actually looks really I, good. I didn't know it was running on Frostbite. That has me pretty excited. Look at yeah, this. Frostbite's yeah, a good engine. It looks really fucking really nice. And I'm saying, any type of Star Wars lore that I get, other than Skywalker family stuff, I'm going to be like really stoked for it. Mandalorian, nothing but hype. This right here is going to be another story dealing with another captain, whatever it may be. So you guys are big Star look, Wars oh fans. God, look if this, you had to choose the developer to actually like sit down and like plot out a whole Star Wars like game, like story, gameplay mechanics, like who would you choose to develop the game? Not publish, but actually like develop. Like, look, look at this part. Hold on, look at this shit. Respawn. Naughty Dog. Who is in charge I had a feeling of you'd say Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. <laughs> oh, you're saying like say any, any, developer. any developer to really take on mm. like a Star Wars like project, like game, like Rocksteady. Rocksteady? Insomniac would be Ooh. good too. I was going to say Insomniac. Insomniac sure. would be Insomniac, really I good think too. Insomniac I, have just the depth like of story that Rocksteady could give me. Yeah. Rocksteady would be a good one too. Or the depth of story. Like, look at this guy. He's I'd pick Square Enix. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it'd, be, it'd be too. Uh, I'd pick Square Enix. You're dumb. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, Whatever. Whatever. Some people agree, some people won't. I uh, know. I mean, they did a really good job with. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that game. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, yeah, Square, no, Square Enix is a publisher, though. Good thing. Look at this, uh, bro. I thought they were developers, too. too. They, I mean, they have developers under them. Well, I'm talking about like. I like Crystal they... Dynamics. No, 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 no. Like, I thought Square Enix develops their own games. Bro. They do. No, I mean, with their own. This is the developers. one. Not like Square, like not. I'm talking about like Square I don't think Enix. Square Enix does has their own development team, their not own like studio. Dynamics, not, I'm not sure. Like I know, like you're talking about like Chris, the Square Enix, and is like overseeing like the different development studios. But I think Square Enix has their own. I might be wrong. I might just be dumb and wrong. But I need I ju- them. I just want 13, 13. Ah, lumpy toaster. What's that, up, bro? That, that we got that canceled game. Jedi Fallen Order. Jedi Fallen Order. I can't wait for the sequel. It made up for one. it. Yeah. 
Anyways, I don't this, know. this game this was good. is going to look nothing like this. I'm glad we wasted everyone's time for about five minutes about this gameplay. That's going to look nothing minutes. like this. You're actually going to get a game that's probably going to be pretty, probably like basic and like 40 bucks. I think they already announced it. Really simplistic. And in October, pff, copping. That's like, oh my you're God. not copping. Cut this. it. You cut just it. said you're not going to cop <laughs> this. I'm copping this, bro. You just said. I'm copping look, this. And then he's going to play it. Who am I sitting next At, to? Like? <laughs> is he Compa. I'm glad he's not. I miss the hype game. on everything. This shit is Compa's amazing. So positive. <laughs> Compa will hype you up just to tell you he's not going to get it. Bro, I'm hype everybody up. Even if it's Hype ass, you bro. up just to let you know, like, yeah, I'm not going to get it day If you tell him you're going to go watch <laughs> yeah. Cats the movie, I'm going to be like, go watch that shit. It's just amazing. It's fire. You like Cats? Watch it. Avatar The Last Ender, the Live movie Live action, was really best great. I've seen. 10 out of 10. Won't but regret. I'm not going to watch it. You guys watch Mulan? Not yet. That I'm waiting until December 4th when it's actually coming out. It started. Mulan. I'm not paying 30 bucks. I'm not paying I would love to support it and pay thirty it's bucks. Disney Plus. Not. Yeah, if you want to pay thirty bucks, you want to pay thirty bucks, 30 bucks to, watch to watch it, it now. Yes, I thought it was free. On December fourth, it's free. Yeah, they oh. played you. I well, didn't even watch. It. I just seen it was. If they had Mushu and they had this, it was, if it was actually a musical and I could do that, I'm, I'm, I'd fucking buy the thirty bucks. But Mul- I, I'm getting no Mul- Mushu. Mulan looks rough. I'm getting no fucking musicals. I'm getting no a girl with party for a song. Bro, count me out, bro. Count Trust me out. this guy. guy I kind of want to see it though, just because everybody's mad about it. Yeah. Uh, do you know why? Just to support him. Uh, well, yeah, I mean. Just to support him? There, there, there's a lot of. Um, Animosity just being yeah, assholes. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of stuff on that. With I don't know a lot of it, but I mean. The main actor doesn't support the Hong Kong movie. Yeah. Allegedly. Like things. Allegedly. It's, a, it's a can of worms for sure. Just, you gotta use allegedly. 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 Sue me. See what happens. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? Don't sue him. Don't, while I'm still don't. On the show. Where they live together. <laughs> we like the same here. house. If he goes, it's bad. Don't, don't. Just don't listen to that guy. Bad news bears. Lumpy Toaster says he's never watching that shit. I mean, never watching what? I feel like Lumpy Toaster doesn't like just good stories. That's what, what I'm hearing. Mulan? Mulan? I mean, it looks rough. I'm not going to lie. Lumpy oh, you're talking about Mulan? It's about yeah. a woman? To each their own. No, I love the original Mulan. Yeah. Don't even start with me on that. The original Mulan was my favorite Disney Mulan movie. Mulan is fucking and up still there. still is my favorite it's, it's Disney top, movie. It's that. It's in the top. Mushu's. No, no. I, I swear to God. Me and my sister, Mulan, that was our like Disney movie. You look more like a Pocahontas guy. <laughs> no, no, he looks like the like guy Pocahontas. in Pocahontas, but he's not. Because like, it's about a woman. No, I just said I like Mulan. That's like all Disney princesses. What are you trying to do here? What are you trying to do. You know we're on the same channel, right? Why are you trying to get me canceled? <laughs> Jesus right. Christ! You're right. It's all good. I'm here too. All right. I just I gotta say it for the people that are back there thinking it because they're probably thinking it because you know I Mikey. Hate it. I like, hate you so oh, much. Oh, Mikey! Like, I just want. What's Mikey the doesn't watch because Disney the remake. Woman. Just make my situation way worse. <laughs> Is it a Disney remake again? Is it? What's the next Disney remake? Uh, I don't know, but Marvel needs to start remaking some of these titles that they said they're going to give me that Wait. I paid a year in advance to get. And like that uh, year's coming to a real close on December. And I, like, know that I haven't gotten all the content they promised me. Let me finish this. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, finish your time. Disney Plus. I need my money back, I feel, or at least a prorated amount back for like, <laughs> the year in advance. Like y'all laughing, but I really paid like a 70 bucks in advance for like a year of Disney Plus, And like I didn't get any content that i was hoping to get like it's been a full year and like i was expecting all these like these marvel spinoffs like remember like the what if series the fucking you're still gonna Vision get it just not now. i mean i think a lot of has scarlet to, witch a lot of stuff got delayed because of covid didn't it hey. like even the the even the star wars then, then, what, look, what flowers is saying money, is he saying right? if you're in the film industry you should get covid yeah. you need yeah. to work mm-hmm. and, and you know, hopefully you don't have health care because he doesn't want you to have health care either that's what he's saying he says nobody cares the virus is all for his entertainment. This game? All for his entertainment. <laughs> That's all what I'm hearing for Stay safe. But at the end of the day, like, but that was a hard 70 bucks. I had to spend hours, like, in the store. Like, you know, I don't even know how much I make a day. I can do, I can do the math breakdown. But, like, that was a portion. Like, 80 bucks out of my daily, like, you know what I mean? My job. Like, I clock in, oh. clock in. Like, 80 bucks. That's the significant part of that, that, that takeout, that take home. And it's like, you're telling I me spent that eighty bucks. I got I got my Disney Plus for free, so I'm not too mad. Also, yeah, yeah, I got what I want. I got Clone Wars and I got uh, Mandalorian. That's very true. And Mandalorian. Remastered. Lumpy Tosa says, "Get fries and they give you a year for free." Yeah. For I, fucking when Disney. I bought my OLED, whatever, yeah. whatever. My whatever. LG OLED gave me free Disney for free. Plus. There Everybody go. got the fucking trial period. Whatever. Look, that doesn't stop Mandalorian. Or I mean, what? invalidate what the fuck I said. I spent seventy fucking dollars Disney Plus Marvel. A free movie. You got me. I need a prorated amount back. You feel like a fool. Because all of us like have I got it for my free. money. I, I feel like I mean you. Would, I feel like I bought Destiny two when it first came out, and they gave it to us for free. That's yeah. how I feel. Because you're the only person in the world <laughs> yeah. who actually bought it. You know, everybody else got it for free. 
Why, why, why did you buy something you're not going to watch? That's kind of on you, dog. Yeah. You know yeah uh, mm-hmm. You were telling me when you it's got it, you, you really liked uh, that one movie about if, sad people. If they're advertising shows that come <laughs> out, out in Inside the future. Out. <laughs> Good movie. Everyone should go watch it. I'm just saying, if they advertise all these shows that come out in, like, in 2021, why don't you just wait till they 2021? They don't even have it? my record fucking Ralph Why didn't Ralph you just wait till 2021 internet. to buy it, my guy? I'm just saying. If but you know it's going to come out later, why don't you just get it later? I can fucking ramble all day. I feel like you don't even like Disney shit. Case Jesus runner. fucked me over. I think he bought it just... He doesn't, doesn't like Star Wars. H- HBO Max. Don't buy HBO Max. Why not? I yeah. feel like he's not, not a big 4K. Disney guy. All right. Oh, yeah. You're very upset about that, I'm, actually. I'm very upset because I'm trying to watch Game of Thrones in 4K. I'm See, actually saving up to buy a fucking full season on 4K. The, the side like point for me for Disney Plus was that they I remastered uh, episodes 4, 5, and 6. Not for fucking Game of Thrones, punk bitch. What are you saying? PS4, you got it. You got it. I mean, it's five. Hey, yeah. Dumb hoe. So we got to save money for that because it's coming out. <laughs> it don't say hoe. It's going to be an arm and a leg. <laughs> PS5, Xbox. Oh, okay. You know, I don't want to offend. So what Sorry. happens? PS5 <laughs> comes out, 600 know, bucks, and then 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. So are we doing predictions on that real quick? Oh, yeah. Prices. Let's predictions do Predictions uh, on what? What, do you, what the fuck? For the, play, for the Wednesday PS5. event. Oh, prices for the PS5? 550, 450. 399, 499. 450. If it's not 450, um, I'm definitely gonna pull up some lawsuits because I feel like they falsely advertise. Why are you why he's trying to sue everybody, bro? Because why are you I'm trying to catch a people case, People promise you things, bro. Yeah, this, this, this is the problem with industry. What they promise, Did they give you, a promise, promise you that they will oh, undercut they other people for the prices of things, and like those are things you look forward to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are yes, they, are they you, did. I can pull up, they didn't promise pull up the article, AJ, because they think I'm playing. They didn't promise. Well, it. They promised an undercut off the fucking PlayStation. Uh, uh, when they came out with the Series X, remember? The, I think it was around February, no, January. It was. Look, a- fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. Whatever the fuck you about Christ. to say, fuck you, because they promised to the undercut, and it better be four fucking fifty because we got the fucking Series X for five hundred. So if it's anything but that, you will hear from me on on social media. What do you mean? So you take undercut. So you're trying five fifty. Oh, four tra- fifty. So what if they hit you with like prices right numbers and they're like four ninety nine ninety eight? You cool? No. No, and they're undercut. They're undercut. It's undercut. They, it's not undercut. How is it not undercut? It's cheese. No, undercut is literally the, going under the. They price, didn't bro. say undercut. What they said was uh, the non-digital ver- or the all-digital version is going to be less. Hey, that's look, what they I'm said. I'm not hostile, Stokes. Lumpy be toaster. I'm not hostile. No, he He's is hostile, bro. He's He's right. But it's okay. Yeah. I'm just tired of people telling me things. Blood pressure. And going then up. as I'm waiting for these things, you know, after I spent my money, my time. I don't get it back. You didn't spend you know any mean? money, so why don't you just wait? I didn't even turn on my investment. It's not even out yet. Why don't you just wait until they actually promise you that? If they say they're gonna lower it, cool. Wait a year until they, they drop it. They did say they did promise me. That's what I'm saying. Adrian, mark my Am words. I'm still gonna Sue buy them. this PlayStation Five hundred bucks. Yes, Sue I'm still gonna buy mark my words. Bucks. I'm gonna be very salt, uh, uh, very upset and salty. Yes, yes. I'm mark very upset and salty. I spent five hundred bucks. My and words. I should have been spending four fifty. Five fifty, four fifty. I I agree with that five fifty, four fifty sounds. That's a weird fucking price point. That. Mark my words. Three ninety nine, four ninety nine. Unless they right. really hustle it, I don't think they're gonna hit that two ninety nine though. Ah, three no, no I don't think so either. They're gonna go three ninety nine, four ninety nine. I mean, even with a four fifty price, I still feel confident spending four fifty, especially when I know I'm gonna get games. If they hit me with anything else, bro, I'm gonna be surprised. Three fifty, four fifty. Like I don't know. I'm saying how how possible do you think three fifty is for all digital edition? Like I can see if, possibly a four. If they pulled an E three two thousand thirteen. And they go, hey, we're cutting this. Like, we're taking out the move controller or the move, like, um, uh, camera to undercut. Like, if they pulled some last minute shit and they go, hey, um, 350, 4K, one terabyte hard drive, that's a better hard drive. Yeah, but the hard drive's only 850. No. Isn't it? No, uh-huh. the all digital to uh, it's eight hundred and something. It's a it's a terabyte. Yeah, but for it's a, a little under a terabyte, which I is thought weird. it was eight fifty. I don't even know if I want to take like yeah, eight, like it's almost terabyte, right? Yeah, that's that's, that's still mean, better than a, a five hundred. Like oh, I'm making yeah. a, a case for this price, like five hundred is a bad <laughs> price to buy a console at. I mean, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. like I don't want to undercut like what I'll be paying for. Like I don't want to pay. Like three hundred dollars for like this next gen version, like the pace, like for me still, I would still get the Series X because I don't want to underpay for something I know I'm gonna want down the Why road. Why get like, a Series as, like, X if you got a gaming PC? Da, da, da. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna get an Xbox. That's why I just well, made that. Well, he also relation. under he also underpaid for the power in his PC, and now he wants to upgrade it. So oh. no. he's learning lessons. He's learning lessons. You know what? I called it, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. no, I called it too. I, I, told I think we all did. What time is it? We had an hour and twenty. I think I'm just gonna cut this. The shit. writing was. I think the writing <laughs> was on the wall. Next to me, just when they fucking. He, he got a six. That's cool, dude. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, and didn't uh, even. But look, I don't want to. I don't want to under promising when you literally. I'm not trying to be cheap. 
cheap because I want to have a good console. So I'm okay with buying 500 bucks. But like oh. they said it was going to be 450. So like that's why it doesn't like sound like he is. No. It's kind of like <laughs> when you say, hey, I'm going to get Sounds it. like he's trying to be cheap. Yep. Look, if I go to a car dealership and like the person tells me, oh, I can give me this $20,000 car for 1500 and I come back a couple days or even a month later, like we talked, bro. Like we had this conversation. Like I want this car for fifteen hundred, not the two, th- not the twenty. He's gonna come back and be like, "Who are you?" It's so like, what if he told you for this day only? <laughs> okay, no. But he should have said that. That's okay, different. no, no. Also, what the, the more likely scenario, like the, what the scenario you're you're that's actually more relatable to what you're saying is, it's like if you go to a car dealership and they go, "It's gonna be twenty, or, uh, it's twenty three hundred, right?" Yeah. And then you go, you said fifteen, and the guy said, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> I said twenty three hundred. And then you're like, no, you promised me 15. And he's gonna be like, that's you're that, being that me. person. But look, I can pull up the pull up the articles. And guess like, what? I think I'm fucking yeah, and you know what the funny part is? They're literally gonna be like, nah, <laughs> so go fuck fire. yourself. They're gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna give you to you for 1500. Go fuck yourself. And guess what? And see if you can pull. They're that not up. gonna bat an eye on your shit. Be like, damn, we should really give so, flowers this one thing for 15. They're gonna be like, go fuck yourself. I'll be the one guy in court. They fucking say PlayStation, PlayStation promises undercut on PS5. See if anything comes up. PlayStation undercut. What he said? Oh Play step. Love That's it. Exactly what I like to look up. Are you dyslexic? I What's going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, Adrian? I don't like this keyboard. Bro, it's a keyboard. What are you talking about? Same. That keyboard's the keyboard. fucking I don't best like keyboard. I'm just using my PlayStation Mac undercuts. Undercut with a C U T. Are yep. you all right? This is gonna be weird. Right there. Just hit PlayStation undercut. The hospital fucked them up. <laughs> Xbox. Xbox. Oh, when so see so yeah, it goes back to PS. When Sony yeah, 2013. Uh, that's right there, right there. Oh, that's the onion. That's Hold a question up. mark. You see the question mark? There's question he marks because it's never a, been promised. That's the guy. onion. He yeah. read the onion on her clothes. First of all, that's, that was from nine hours ago. So, like, this is, like, recent. I'm not talking about an article from, like, February. I bet you anything he was doing the news, saw that article, and he's like, oh, they're going to undercut. Damn. You know what? On that note, since they kind of make a, f- a mockery of me. Because I'm not making mockery, dude. Articles. You just like reading fake news. That's all good. Look. If you missed this show today live, you know, I had a lot of you here. I you had probably about, just like, saw some tweet somewhere. I got about 300 people live watching this right now. And if you missed the show live, it sucks for you. Um, you can time. see it tomorrow, which is a Tuesday. Manana. At 10 a.m. over on Play Everything forward slash. Uh, actually, not over on Play Everything. Over on YouTube <laughs> forward slash Play Everything. Um, you can also listen to it on podcast services around the globe. Uh, real quick, Compo, where can they watch this? YouTube.com forward slash play everything. We got what time? you there. Drop it tomorrow a las 10, which means 10. A las 10. Yes, For sir. people out in Mexico, I had about 50 of those watching yeah. today. I seen that. No, there he said, ja, ja, yeah, ja, 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 ja. Uh, real diverse over here as far as our demographic and our audience. Um, thanks for everybody watching. Uh, we'll we'll uh, be oh, here yeah, next bye. week. I'm sure uh, Cheeks, you're gonna follow me. Yeah. Before no, I get out of here, Cheeks, do you want to plug anything, man? Anyone else want to plug anything? Follow me at Cheeks underscore Junior on the Twitter. Stay up to date, and I have a show called Tech Fever. I host it with uh, Kevin Coelho every uh, that comes out every Thursday at 10 a.m. on YouTube.com for slash Play Everything. This week, tomorrow, I'm getting the Samsung Galaxy Fold. Very ex- you buy it? Fold Two. I'm getting in tomorrow, picking it up tomorrow. Very excited. Ooh. I'm going to have some shit to talk about this week. He's going to turn, uh, he's gonna turn it. Maybe do some other uh, videos, things like that. But uh, for sure, very excited to get my hands on that. Uh, quick Samsung Galaxy I just Fold. realized like, your hair's a little long. You got the little, like, you got some hang time. Super so Cuts has been like, closed, my guy. Where is he supposed like to go? Boy, like, uh, Super like, Cuts is closed. Where's oh, my man oh, supposed oh, to go? One more time, one more time. For Look at that beard, bro. Look at that. I hope it's swung on camera. Did you see the swing on camera, Adrian? Bro, he looks like a leprechaun. I don't know right, what agent, it is. He looks right, like a terrible fucking producer. Got his lucky charms. Twilling his thumbs like Oliver Twist over there. You want to plug anything, Adrian? You got any plugs? Nope, no plugs. Not even, not even your Twitter. I told everyone to follow. It's a very long. Yeah, app. fix your Twitter name. Hey, hey, some shit. It's a. Remember when I tried to. Uh, How many A's? Talk Compa into doing uh, Pancho Poppy. Pancho Poppy. Pancho Poppy. Pancho Poppy. Or Latin Yeti. All right, nah, Latin Pancho Yeti. Poppy was heat. Latin Pancho Yeti. Poppy was heat. Uh, R. Compa, R. where could they follow you? But, you know, we settled on at Compa, Andres. Go ahead, follow your boy, Compa. I got you. On every you, you awesome. Uh, what do you, what you be tweeting about? I'll be tweeting about anything, bro. You do be tweeting about Just, about it, just yeah. at me, bro. We'll have a conversation. Talk about football. Just know that on Sundays, I'm all about Raiders. Uh, so uh-uh. if you follow me, just expect spamming right, of this uh, Raiders. I'm just going to mute his mic real quick, y'all. That's, that's, good you. point, good point. You no, I'm just saying. Start be wary. Well, well. Want to know, baby? Uh, you can follow me at that kid flowers. You know I talk about everything. You know anime included. Um, thanks for watching the show. We logging out of here. Thanks for watching.